Hello everyone, welcome back to Zepcentric. So I want to introduce you guys to an affordable brake system. We typically run the MPP stop tech kits or the AP Racing brake kits on our vehicles, but those kits can range anywhere from 3,500 bucks to well over $5,000 and you got to add pads to them and all this other stuff. Well, our friend Faye, and we'll share a link to her channel up here, she is our fastest female driver in an SR Plus. So she's got an SR Plus rear wheel drive Model 3, and she is really, really fast. Now, in fact, I think she's, she's so fast that if we put her in a performance Model 3 and she got acclimated to it, she would probably give our guys, our fastest guys, a run for their money. Um, so now she's at a point where she needs more brake. Her, her Mando factory brake caliper, she's actually got a 365 MPP brake uh, enlarged rotor kit on her vehicle now, but she's at the point where she needs to get something that, that's gonna have even more, um, more braking power. So, you know, we presented her the options that we typically run. Those are pretty expensive. She wanted to find something that was gonna be a bit more feasible because of her cost of consumables. This girl goes through tires left and right. So between the Model 3 and her Miata, she is just burning through 200 Toto rated tires and brake pads. So, you know, I had to start hunting a kit that would fit within her budgets. And this is what we found. So this brake kit is by Paragon. Uh, one of the things that appealed to me is that they actually use the same caliper pad shape as the 9660 AP caliper that was on my car and is now on Steven's car. And uh, it's a very similar pad shape to the StopTech uh, kit that we use from MPP. So, you know, we can literally swap those pads around because we will carry inventory of them. Uh, the other thing that was nice is it is a six piston caliper. They actually, um, they coat these pistons with titanium nitride. So what they say is that this will help this piston slide very smoothly. They do have internal dust seals. They do not have external dust seals. So it is very similar to the AP kit. You can see it's hard anodized coated. Um, same thing with the rotor hats here. So they won't discolor or wear from you know, the heat like you would something that was just a standard finish. Um, what else? They come with the anti-rattle clips standard. So this is actually an optional thing on the AP kits. We actually have to pay extra money for these. So these come included. Uh, the one thing is that they do not include the anti-knockback springs like on the AP competition kits, the 9660 and 9668 calipers. It is an option, you can add that. Um, what else? So you've got um, staggered piston diameters. If you didn't see that, they are staggered piston diameters. So it pretty much has all of the traits of a high quality brake system. Now we are gonna install these on Faye's car. You're gonna see that shortly here. She's gonna head to the track. She's gonna give us her feedback and her reviews on the product. We will share that with you either in this video or another video. Um, what I am gonna show you now is the actual weight of these calipers. So, and then when we remove the Mando calipers from Phase Car, we'll show you the weight of those. So we got almost a little over seven pounds, 7.2 pounds. This table's a little bit tilted, so this should be reasonably accurate. I don't know if it's 100%. We're gonna add the caliper bracket to it. 9.2 pounds there. All right, so now let's weigh the caliper. I'm sorry, let's weigh the rotor. So this is their 378 millimeter rotor. They do have a 410 millimeter rotor. It is 36 millimeters thick and 72 directional veins, 24.4 pounds. Hey guys, pardon the interruption, but I remember that I actually had a set of AP Racing 9668 calipers in our storage room. And so I figured I'd take this opportunity to show you guys the actual physical differences between the Paragon caliper and the AP caliper with regards to these anti-rattle clips and uh, how the, the caliper is actually constructed. So uh, I'll start with the Paragon caliper. You can see here how there's some dowels right here that tie this together. And then I'll show you the AP, where on the AP 9660, 9668, you have this bridge right here. So you don't actually have any dowels here. So this caliper will definitely be stiffer 
than this one for that reason. So I'm gonna hold both of them up for you. Now the 9668 caliper from AP does use a 25 millimeter thickness pad versus their 9660, which is an 18 millimeter pad, much like this Paragon. So this is a very wide caliper if it does look different. But yeah, you can see here. All right, so on the AP kits, these anti-rattle clips are actually an option. So I did kind of mention it before, it might've been a little bit confusing, but each caliper, it's a $75 option. So each caliper takes two anti-rattle clips. So you'll get a pair of anti-rattle clips for $75. For a pair of calipers, it'd be 150 bucks. On the Paragon kit, however, these are included in the price. So without further ado, we'll send you back to the original video. So you got some of the details there. Um, this kit with street pads is under $3,000 plus tax, depending on where you are. It is listed on our website. Um, if you get track pads, it's just a little over $3,000. The kit does include brake pads with it. Um, oh, you also get stainless steel brake lines by Goodridge. Um, and yeah, I mean, we're gonna show you guys how we install it. We're gonna get it on face car. We are hitting up uh, Tesla Corsa with Silicon Valley Club. Tesla owner Silicon Valley Club up here. They're hosting the event. And we'll, uh, we'll see what she says. So stay tuned. Thanks, guys, for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. If you haven't seen our Patreon account, please visit that. It's patreon.com forward slash devcentric. It's only $5 a month. We only have one subscription available at the time. We also have these t-shirts available. So we have this devcentric t-shirt. It's 30 bucks. It's on our website. We'll put some links in the description below. And we'll be releasing some, some new uh, merchandise pretty soon, too. So watch this B-roll of us installing the brake kit on Phase Car, and we'll see you on the next one.